Hey Leos, welcome to your reading. If you're new guys, welcome to my lovely loyal subscribers. Welcome back guys. I told you if we hit 100k before New Year's Eve that I will go live at the Eiffel Tower. So I will be doing that tomorrow night. If you want to jump on the live, remember to hit subscribe so you get notified when I go live, okay? Yep, so you guys can do this with me. Rejoice in celebration, right? Call in that 2020 and get the blessings that, you know, are coming our way. So let's see. Starting off, ooh, three of cups. Uh, moving on reversed here, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Oh, mental conflict, two of swords there. Somebody um, tried to move on from you and they couldn't hear. So they're in two minds, as you can see. Um, these pictures speak a thousand words, right? I feel like they're concerned about what's going on with you, who you're with, who you're celebrating with, you know, um, you know, who you're happy with. It feels like a song, but I can't get it yet. It's like, um, you know, seeing somebody else happy. Um, so that they tried to move on they just can't, like, you are being brought to their mind. I'm not surprised it is Venus in retrograde, so I'm not surprised that, you know, when there's, where there's unfinished business, you know, you return to your ex's mind, your ex returns to your mind. This can be, you can just be happily married and some ex starts knocking on your door. Like, this is, so, hopefully not, but this is, um, you know, something that's happening a lot right now and it is in general readings and I get asked a lot why does it come up in general readings and it is because the general energy has this it's the energy of the masses that need to work on um these these unfinished relationships so somebody is absolutely torn in their mind about leaving that is mirrored by the three of cups there um so they want to be with you in this celebration um so i guess new year's eve they're either going to try to be with you or they're wanting to be with you if you're going to allow it yeah you're definitely pulling them towards you this again is venus so um it's want you guys wanting to be together or pulled together if you don't want to be with them you're the empress here and you're attracting them you know they're thinking well I thought this didn't work um you know you said it wasn't working why are you now hurting <laughs> that sort of thing there so this person is going to come forward with an offer king of pentacles here the emperor they just have to get their ego out of the way uh ooh, king and queen of pentacles here so some of you are going to get back together this new year's eve um be careful that they're not doing it out of ego that hey i can get you back Okay, make sure they come to you correct, um, especially with anybody you want union with. Um, if they truly love you, they won't mind chasing you, right? So, yeah, if you feel that this is the person you're meant to be with, they're coming forward here. But if this, if they're still in ego, we can see like husband and wife can come together on a high vibration, but... Um, what's concerning me is this, that, you know, these cards between each other like this, um, you know, if, if your vibrations are, you know, you're still working on yourself, you'll come together King and Queen of Pentacles. If you're both in a very high vibration, you'll come together as you're both, you know, um, Empress and Emperor here, very high vibrating. Um, but like this, and with this mental conflict, it can be this person's ego getting in the way and a king of pentacles trying to approach an emperor. So, you know, if you tell them, get right and don't give in, they'll come back as an emperor, man or woman. Okay, ten of pentacles, a lot of good money energy around here for you, Leos. So go get at it here. There'll be a lot of celebration. Um, I would say that somebody's either going to win a lot of money and they're celebrating or they're going to earn a lot of money, some sort of bonus here. So I love it. A lot of opportunities coming your way now. And one is either to close this cycle down for good and never hear from this ex or you, you know, getting together again. Or there is you getting together here. Okay. Major, major shifts in this dynamic now. So it's now or never. Prince of Pentacles, even if it doesn't matter how long they've taken, some of you might have a family together, a child together here, um, 
child might be older than you know like a baby but there might be a child together six of pentacles yeah it's definitely an all or nothing kind of thing because they was giving their energy in too many places before now you're focused on your goals your healing loving yourself you know putting good energy out into the world your divine calling here so if they want to come back in and start messing with your energy you're not really about it here yeah seven of swords you're not about it and i think that this it's not that they're coming back to cheat you, but it's that they have low self-esteem. It's their ego that's making the problems here. Um, so it doesn't matter what's gone on in the past, you are now vibrating very high. If they've still got low self-esteem, that's you know where they need to love themselves, right? Of course we finished with the Six of Cups. Of course we did. <laughs> um, yeah, this is somebody from your past returning to your life. Hey, don't shoot me. Just don't do it. I, I'm keeping to myself <laughs> it's, it's not my business uh, Shanti jumping out there I am the angel of peace and I bring you new tranquility and a smoother roll ahead, road ahead um, so I feel like for some of you you are letting go and you're at peace with this you don't wish them any Ill, Ill will you'll see in the new year wishing everybody good and blessings and you'll be thankful for the blessings that are coming towards you you're practicing gratitude and your peace is your most important thing um, others of you, okay, um, to heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So to heal this connection and allow this to come back, um, you know, they have to see, well, I would say, first of all, let's look at this as, um, the two people who want to get back together. So you have to understand your peace is important. They will have to see how much they hurt you right this is a person who is moving on now um this ex will still come back you can tell them i'm at peace i forgive you there's no hard feelings i love you goodbye um and you know they may be sad about it but you know it's not your business to lose your peace okay they will start to wake up and see things with the hangman from a different perspective here and that's what we want good luck guys happy new year don't forget to join me for the live